Welcome to the Busy Bee Mom Sewing Channel. Today we are going to be working on a prom dress that is a little too long in the shoulders. So the, they asked me if I would take it in at the shoulders. And so I did the fitting and I just put two safety pins on. So where she felt comfortable and those are my marks. So now I'm going to measure each of these. And it's about an inch. This one's about an inch. This one's about an inch and an eighth. So write that down, commit it to memory. You either don't want to take the biggest of the two or the average. It depends. I'll do an inch unless this left two holes and then I'll do an inch and an eighth. So I'm going to take my pins out. See if that's okay or if I need to get rid of that. I think it's going to be okay. This fabric's pretty tough. And now I'm going to take it apart in these seams. I'm going to get my seam ripper and take it apart all the way around on both of them. Okay, so we've taken apart our um, sh shoulder seams. And then I marked on the inside. I've got two marks. This is one and an eighth inch down. That's how much shorter it needs to be. And then a half inch up from there. And that's where I'm going to cut it because I want to do half inch seam allowance. So this is your total amount you want. And then that's where your seam is going to be. Or this is where you're going to stitch it. That's your seam allowance. So I've done that front and back of both pieces. So I've got four of these. And now I'm going to cut it on that top line. All right, next thing, you're going to take one of your front and back pieces. Make sure they're the right two that, you know, go together. You don't want to combine your two fronts. And you're going to rip out a seam, one of your side seams. You see how this one's um, edge stitched? So don't, don't go after that one. Go after the one here that doesn't have any of that second stitching. This one's got, I um, can't remember what it's called. Anyway, so we're going to want to take this seam out a little ways down, a couple inches. And you're going to do that on both of them. Okay, your goal is to um, be able to lay them together flat. So you have to get off enough stitching that you can put basically right sides together and pin them. I'm not going to lay this flat like this. I'm actually going to keep that folded. Pin it. I'm going to do that all the way around. Same thing on this edge. I'm going to keep those seam allowances folded in. And then after you pin it, you're going to put it in your machine and stitch it. So basically, I just have to take out down far enough that I can get at least half of it open and flat and then, you know, get to the other half. I don't need to open the whole thing at once, but I'm going to have to be able to get this in my machine. So take the stitching down far enough that you can work with it and it's manageable. And then let me think. Do I want this seam allowance to the front or the back? I think to the back. Try to make sure when you pin here that you got those seams just perfect. Alright. Anyway, after you pin it, go to your machine, um, half inch seam allowance, and sew your front and back together. Alright, I have sewed those together. And whew, there you go. You have your seam. What I want to do, though, is I want to take this seam allowance and I want to open it up, finger press it, and then fold it. So make sure it's that's evenly distributed. You don't want half in the front and half in the back. And then you're going to press it, and then you're going to come over here, and you're going to hand stitch this all shut. But these hand stitches will be on the back, so you'll never notice from the front. You're just going to go along and... Just tack it down a little bit. And, you know, tuck in this here and there. This is that seam allowance that you sewed over earlier. See how that makes it so much easier to tack the shut? Because that seam allowance is already folded in. And there you have a very professional way of taking up your shoulder seams. Now occasionally you find if you have to take it in a lot, sometimes these don't line up anymore. You might, you get so that one is wider than the other, one is skinnier. And then you have to actually taper these sides a little different. We got lucky in that they still lined up evenly. See, I got a little wonky bump there. That's because the seam allowance isn't flat like it's supposed to be. If you get that flat, it takes care of that wonky bump. All right, and there you have it. That's how you shorten 
your shoulder seams and a dress. Thanks for watching. Okay, I decided I should show you real quick when I said just stitch it together, hand stitch it. I should probably show you how to do that. Um, I'm using what's called a ladder stitch. And to do a ladder stitch, you're just going to take a little stitch on one side. Don't go all the way through. So this is my good side back here. So I don't want to go all the way through that. And then I'm going to go straight across to my other side. Take a little stitch there. They call it ladder stitch because it's kind of like you're doing the rungs of the ladder boat back and forth. So that's how I'm going to um, sew it together. A little bite of the left side, a little bite of the right side. And as you can see, you can hardly tell. I think this is where I started, but it gives you a really nice stitch. Now when you come up to this point up here where you've got all your seam allowance, don't worry about pulling it tight and covering all that up because it's just too thick and you don't want to risk pulling your front so it's awkward. So just make sure you have all that tucked in there. And you're just going to have your stitches. Oh shoot, tangle. So, whoops, it's okay if you can kind of see your stitches going across this area because it's too thick. Don't don't cram it shut because you're going to just pull the front and it's going to look bad on the front. So, anyway, that's how I stitch it together using a ladder stitch.